She is both beautiful and dangerous, filled with intrigue and difficult to reach. She has been the domain of explorers, shipwrecks, and untamed horses. She is located in an area known as the Graveyard of the North Atlantic. This week, the Mercer Report goes where only pirates and eccentric scientists have gone before. Sable Island, Nova Scotia. Cue the adventure music. Oh, there's something here for you, Al. Now, your wife dropped this off at the airport for you? She did. That's a good wife. Yeah, not too bad. Dozen cores. Very good. Our work here is done. All right, we can go now. Science. And this is Jonathan Shepard from Parks Canada. Hello, Jonathan, how are you? Great to see you, Rick. So this is a national park. This is relatively new. It's brand new, yeah. It's just recently been designated as a national park. Canada's 43rd. Now, a quick geography lesson. How, how big is the island? The island's about uh, 42 kilometers long, so it's a nice long island, but it's very, very narrow, only a kilometer and a half. It's a long crescent, long. correct? Yeah, it's a And then these deadly crescent. sandbars that extend out into the ocean. That's right, they go out underneath the surface quite a long ways out into the ocean. And what is the population of Sable, the human population? Uh, there's about five or six people at any one time. Now, Edward, you're an employee of Environment Canada? Yes, I am. Okay, so you're out here doing, you're monitoring the environment. You are our line of defense out here on Sable Island. Well, yes. Now, what are we doing today? Today, we are going to release our uh, weather balloon. Uh... So, we still do that? Yes. Now, you're not one of those people who work with Environment Canada that believe in climate change, are you? Uh, I don't know if I can speak to that, really. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> I know, isn't that wild? Now, what's inside this balloon? There's hydrogen. Hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas? Yes. Like the Hindenburg? That's right. Right, highly flammable. Take this This is deadly. I didn't know. I thought this was finally the trip where I wasn't going to be in mortal danger. Have you seen the footage? Oh, the humanity. Oh, the oh, humanity. Yes. OK, do oh, boy, she wants to go, eh? Uh, yes. This is a big thrill for me, because you know there's one employee of Environment Canada left, and I got to meet him. <laughs> Two, one. Science! How high is that balloon going to go? Uh, approximately 32,000 meters, 36,000 oh. meters. That's higher than commercial aircraft. A lot higher. Wow. So if you're flying to London today and you see a balloon on your wing, I put that there. Don't worry, it's a harmless weather instrument. And I am very excited to meet Zoe Lucas. Hello, Zoe. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Welcome to Sable Island. Thank you so much. Now, Zoe, do you have a title? No, I don't. You don't. No. And yet, you are synonymous with Sable Island and synonymous with Sable Island horses. I've been here a long time. How long been have a long you been time. here? Five. I've been here. I first came to Sable Island in 1971. These are feral horses, meaning that we don't interfere with the horses at all. They're completely right. wild. They've, they've returned uh, to entirely to a wild existence. And do you do you ban them? Do you? No, the horses are protected by by law from any interference whatsoever. So you can't mark or ban or harass the horses in any way. And that means it's survival of the fittest. If, yes. if the horse is ill, you That's don't right. get involved. Don't don't, in, don't interfere. Let them. There's no touching of the horses. That, you're not supposed to, right? All right. I, I could stand here and look at these horses all day, but uh, like we got work to do. I am your field research assistant. Is that a good time? Apprentice. Apprentice? Field research okay. assistant apprentice. Intern. Unpaid intern. <laughs> how about that? Okay. Now, you grew up in Halifax. Yes. And how old were you when you first came here? Um, 21. And when did you realize it was going to be a life's work? I, I never really knew that. This plant here, this is beech pea. Uh -huh. And this is a really important forage for the horses. It's got a very high protein content. And, uh, so there's so, enough food on the island to sustain a lot of horses. It's not like it's a constant struggle. Uh, it's a struggle in the winter. 
Uh -huh. Because a lot of the vegetation will die back and also it will be poorer quality. And in forage. a harsh winter, and will the population drop off dramatically? Yes. Well, not necessarily. But What's it can the lowest do. population you've seen? Uh, I've seen it drop to 150 horses. And it's about 350 now? No, it's up over 450. It's quite high. It's been quite high for a couple of years. This is a field book. Okay. I know you're not used to actual paper, but. Okay, so, so, first off, that kind of looks. <laughs> like a puppy, but um, it'll do. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Oh, look at the bones. These are vertebrae from what? Those would be from dolphins. Dolphins. So this is, this is a, a collection of some of the bones that are being processed to go to the Nova Scotia Museum. So this is not like the gift shop at Sable Island. I, I can't take this home. <laughs> this, this is garbage, garbage you found on, on the, the beach. beach. Yeah. So you document all this stuff. That's that's phenomenal. This is balloon debris, latex and mylar. This oh. is a, this is. See, look, look. Okay, do we? Can we just stop this then? Can we stop buying these and letting them out in the yard? Because this is where they end up. Now, do you come here and go swimming in the summer? Because this is stunning. It's gorgeous water, but there are sharks out there. Sharks. Do you yes. get the great whites? Yes. In so the summer? you just you just don't go in the water. No. It's not, it's we not. We won't mention that when I put Mercer condominiums here. Don't worry, they'll be green condos. They'll have, uh, they'll have all sorts of recycling. I love that he was like, no, it's cold. Well, considering the large amount of data you've collected here. Data? You would like to uh, sign that. When this, this all gets written up, we just have to make a note that this was data collected by you. <laughs> Dubious data. <laughs> Dubious data. Thank you so much. That was a real privilege Thank and you a for thrill. coming. Thank can you I come back? You can, for sure. I will indeed. Bring snacks. Can I sleep over? Yeah. Can I camp on the beach? Yeah, probably. I'm in. <laughs>